Hi everyone, welcome back to us. In this video, let's talk about the development board. What is a development board and what is it used for? Come and look at this. I have a development board in front of me. A microprocessor development board is a printed circuit board containing a microprocessor and the minimal support logic needed for a computer engineer to become acquainted with the microprocessor on the board and to learn to program it. It also served users of the microprocessor as a method to prototype applications and products. Unlike a general purpose system such as a home computer, usually a development board contains little or no hardware dedicated to a user interface. It will have some provision to accept and run a user supplied program such as downloading a program through a serial port to flash memory, or some form of programmable memory in a socket in earlier systems. Common development boards are 51, ARM, FPGA, DSP, etc. The most popular among developers are Raspberry Pi and Arduino. You can see a Raspberry Pi development board in front of me. The Raspberry Pi is a low-cost, credit card-sized computer that plugs into a computer monitor or TV and uses a standard keyboard and mouse. It is a capable little device that enables people of all ages to explore computing and to learn how to program in languages like Scratch and Python. It's capable of doing everything you'd expect a desktop computer to do, from browsing the internet and playing high-definition video to making spreadsheets, word processing, and playing games. The Raspberry Pi also provides a USB interface for the mouse and keyboard, an Ethernet interface, SD card expansion interface, and a HDMI high-definition video output interface, which can be connected to the display or TV. Raspberry Pi can be widely used in education, home automation, industrial automation, commercial products. If you are an electronic DIY enthusiast, you can make different interesting things with it and with different sensors. The quadrotor, which is controlled by a Raspberry Pi computer, can be equipped with a miniature camera for smartphones. Compared with the aerial combination of a common rotorcraft plus camera, more complex functions with less cost, such as aerial video recording or real-time aerial image wireless transmission. Supercomputers, the Raspberry Pi chassis are generally not cheap on the market, and the imagination of some DIY enthusiasts is always beyond imagination. Use Lego bricks to make Raspberry Pi chassis. Combine dozens of Raspberry Pis into a supercomputer. This is probably the cheapest, lowest power supercomputer ever. iPhone iPad wireless printer. Now, some like to use their own iPad to work, with a keyboard sometimes is enough, but there is a problem of printing. iPhone iPad supports AirPrint wireless print, but the price of the related products is relatively high, so some people connected the printer to the Raspberry Pi to make an AirPrint printer terminal. So there is no need to repurchase the printer. It is very convenient. Meteorological station, traffic light control. In fact, in addition to the USB interface and other extensions, the Raspberry Pi can also provide PIC microcontroller programming support. With these support, the Raspberry Pi can be used with sensors and LED lights to achieve a wide range of application functions. The picture above shows a simple temperature wind speed real-time monitoring tool made with the Raspberry Pi. If you need it or would like to know more about it, come to utsource.net, utsource electronic components shopping platform, over 10 years of service in more than 180 countries and regions around the world. We are professional definitely worthy of your trust. We are awaiting your visit.